Good morning caffeine fiends and welcome to another coffee review for getbeaned.com. Today we're looking at Union Coffee's house roast and I've gone for the cafetiere grind. Ooh. Uh, usually I go for espresso, big big fan of espresso. Uh, I've picked up the cafetiere grind. Um, you know, Honestly, because I find Union, the ones you get in the shops, tend to be a bit mild. So I thought, you know what, try a cafetiere, give it a plunge, see what it tastes like black, um, see if it's still kind of really pleasant, um, and you know, what what's occurring there, really. Um, now, uh, one thing I really like about Union's branding and their packaging is that it tells you everything you need to know on the packet, basically. So, you know, this one's medium roast, strength four out of five. So it suggests it's quite strong. Is it four out of five or is it four out of 10? Ah, now I've been thrown. It doesn't tell me there. Scoring system, ha ha. So it doesn't tell you everything you need to know on the package. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it's got its mediums and its strengths there tells you its quality score. Um, and one thing I like that they've been doing recently is that they've been putting little kind of cards into the, you know, packaging as well. So this tells you about brewing um, and how to get the best brew for a cafetiere blend, which is obviously good for something like this. Previous ones tell you about, um, you know, how their trade, their direct trade system works or about, so I think I picked up the Yayu blend previously and it told you about the projects it was doing in the Yayu forest. So that's all good and worthy stuff and useful knowledge. You know, on the flip side, you could say, you know, it's a lot of paper and card, you know, we're in a, we're in a climate crisis. Damn it, Union, stop putting more card in, but it's all recyclable, so I'll, I'll let it slide this time. Um, Anyway, yeah, so it's telling me to uh, brew this out for four minutes, so I will. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Union. I've previously touched on uh, why I'm a big fan of them um, in other reviews, so I won't go into it all again. But put simply, I was trained by them. They've got really nice kind of... Not necessarily the strongest coffees, but they have got really um, kind of nice coffee that I think everyone can appreciate. So it's kind of mild, it does a job. Um, and I, I'm really a big fan of them. Now, this, uh, so this is already ground coffee. Usually I buy beans and do it myself. This is already ground coffee. And this was five pounds for 200 grams. Now, personally, I think that's a bit steep. It's not horrendous, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, but it's a bit steep. But you've also got to bear in mind you're paying for labour there. Ground coffee is going to be a bit more expensive than beans. Why, I don't know, because they probably all do it in a big machine anyway, so there's not much labour <laughs> added. But, you know, obviously... You know, the more work they've got to put in, the more expense is going to come back to you. So £5, 200 grams, not horrendous, um, not the cheapest by a long shot. Um, but like I say, Union are good because you can get them in supermarkets. I think Waitrose are probably the only ones stocking them at the moment. But there are good kind of, they have this kind of independent coffee ethic. So there's a decent a level of coffee to them. They do this direct trade thing. They help out the coffee farmers that they buy from. And uh, yeah, they make nice coffee that you can get in supermarkets, which is quite rare. So that's been my four minutes. I'm just gonna give this a quick stir because it also suggests to do that. I'll do that. Now, I know some people that stir their coffee before the plunge anyway. I tend to do it beforehand, but I forgot this time. So, give it a plunge. Now, when opening up the coffee, it had this fantastic smell, and it says notes of chocolate and rich caramel. The smell reminded me more of kind of that honeycomb, uh, not a honeycomb taste, but, you know, where they say tasting notes honeycomb. But chocolate and rich caramel, so it suggests those kind of nice basey notes rather than the high 
acidic fruity notes. Um, and I'm gonna give it a try now. So this is black. Oh, lovely. So as a black coffee, quite mild, but doesn't sting the tongue, doesn't punch you in the face with a more acidic coffee. Um, like I say, the four minute blend is probably about right. Um, I know some people who tend to really stew their coffees in cafetiers and I'm sorry, in my personal opinion, it ruins the flavor. Do learn, um, do try and learn or find out from where you're buying the beans, how long they recommend you, you know, brew for. Um, but that, again, is quite pleasant, mild. The rich and caramel notes, the caramel I'm getting, chocolatey less so, it's not so basey, not so dark. Um, but that is a great morning coffee, you know, uh, for anyone who just wants to get up and go, get a decent coffee down them. Um, but doesn't want something too, uh, let's say, challenging on the tongue. You know, you know where you get a coffee where you go, oh, I like that, but you have to almost think about the flavours and you get the flavours through. You know, sometimes when I get an acidic coffee, I go, I like that, but I need to be in the mood for it, yeah? I think that is a nice all-purpose coffee. You're going to kind of wake up and, and be like, right, great, let's get ready to go. So chocolatey and rich caramel oats is what it says. I think that's probably about right. It might be overselling itself a little bit there, but that, you know, that seems about right. Um, uh, really, I think I'm still really an es uh, espresso man. Um, I think I always will be, to be honest. But that, is a really decent cup of coffee to start the day with. It's a nice blend from, um, I think it's a South American blend, is their house blend. It doesn't particularly say, uh, da, da, da. so it says coffee's bought from, in from Peru and, Peru and Colombia. Does it say anything about their house blend? No, it doesn't. Weirdly enough, another issue I'm having here is it's not telling me where their house blend is. Blend is from, um, you know, like the Yayu blend will say from the Yayu Mountains. So another issue with their packaging. I would like to know where your house blend is grown. Uh, I may just be missing it because I'm very tired this morning and it's a miserable morning, but I'll finish my coffee and if I find it, I'll add the addendum in the notes at the bottom of the video. But otherwise, thank you very much for waffing, watching. Waffing? Ugh. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go off and enjoy this coffee. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.